Hi guys, Asali Wunani, Munjani, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what speech therapy is, especially here in the UK, but more so in the southern region, which is where we live. And I kind of want to just share what kind of gets you to the point of having to go to speech therapy. You'd have seen a previous video of mine, if you're a regular here, where we spoke about um, my little one's speech therapy journey the things that I looked out for and I'm continuing that series just to give a bit more insight into what speech therapy is and you know what to expect if you're going to go to your first appointment or what the purpose of speech therapy is if you're going to get a referral. So naturally going to a speech therapist is there to kind of help you navigate, diagnose and support your child in figuring out whether they have any sort of communication or language delay. Um, Obviously, to get to that point of going to see a speech therapist, you would have spotted things that make you feel like there's a challenge or sometimes a concern. So you kind of head there to kind of fine tune and figure out the best way to empower your child or give them the tools to then pull out those elements that are challenges for them. So in terms of what to expect um, from a speech therapist, I think it can be really varied for people depending on what age your child attends. So I'll kind of talk about it from our angle and having started just before Riley turned three. Speaking of the man himself, he's just popped into the room. He is just hanging out and he's got his tablet. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Say hi everyone. Hi everyone. How are you? Okay, so in my experience, I felt like there were quite a few things, about three to four things that were assessed in our session between having spoken to the health visitor and having gone into our first speech therapy session. So don't mind the racket in the background. Riley's just doing some wooden puzzles here and just placing things in the right space. So if you do hear him, that's fine. So one of the key things that they wanted to assess was what Riley understood. And they did that in a few different ways. They did some exercises, they tried to give him some instructions and then they were able to kind of suss out at what point he was at with kind of his reasoning um, and taking on the information, the receptive language. So what people are saying to you, what does that then trigger? Then the second thing that they really wanted to look at was his expressive language and and you know what my child can do <laughs> his ability was. and so they were trying to have a conversation with him trying to prompt things out of him trying to nudge that natural conversation um, oh, and see where he was at <laughs> yeah well done <laughs> awesome then the third thing that they were looking at was sound development um, and creative speech so they were looking at things that were then um, list the speech impediment in how he was saying things um, the words that are really familiar and obviously there's a certain number of words that children need to know at certain stage so let's say you know at the young toddler stage they probably need to know maybe 10 words in that first year um, after their first birthday where they start with mum dad and then it just progresses as you go up in the stages and at the stage that we're at now I think Riley should have about over a thousand words in his vocabulary bank so they also look at things like that and one of the last things that they also looked at were things to do with um, the motor skills, so the oral motor skills. So they were trying to look at how he moved the shape of his mouth, um, his tongue. Over with some children, they have certain ways that they like to, to say things or, or certain things that they would do. Um, and I feel like speech therapy is something that can be a bit of a hit and miss. It's such a personalised service and there's no way of saying because your child's gone through something in a certain amount of time that that would be the case for another child. So I think that's another thing that's really important to bear in mind when it comes to speech therapy. And there's so many benefits because it's this one-to-one -one time of working with your child and a lot of the activities that are done in the speech therapy sessions once they've made that assessment and they give you guidance on whether you need more sessions really parent-led and basically for us it's been we're going to be going on to i think our third or fourth set of um six speech therapy sessions and they're fantastic in kind of enabling us to practice some stuff in the speech therapy session do you remember speech therapy yeah and then we get to do it at home as well don't we <laughs> you're fun so yeah, I hope that's 
actually helpful and then for like any mums or parents that aren't so I sure like it. what to expect yeah. from therapy and what I the benefits are and what to expect from the first session. I think a lot of the time people might find the idea of being referred quite um, daunting and you don't know what to expect. They don't normally explain what the session is going to look like or what they'll be looking for um, and it can be a little bit tricky especially if little one doesn't get it right or they don't sit still at first it can be a little bit upsetting but honestly it is worthwhile sticking it out and giving it a go so if you've got any questions or anything or if anyone has any other speech therapy techniques or first time experiences that they've had as well definitely stick them down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye